O oh God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. For sacred my crown of piercing thorn, O bleeding head so wounded, reviled and put to scorn, no comeliness or beauty, thy wounded face betrays. Yet angel hosts adore thee, and tremble as they gaze. O love, O love transcending, O wisdom from on high, O truth unchanged, unchanged. did not spare his only Son, but gave him up to suffer for our sake. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. My, from my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, 
nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and and my my tongue tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and And to to the the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God did not spare his only Son, but gave him up to suffer for our sake. Jesus Christ loved us and poured out his own dear blood for us to wash away our sins. O Lord, I have heard your renown and feared, O Lord, your work. In the course of the years, revive it. In the course of the years, make it known. In your wrath, remember compassion. God comes from Timon, the Holy One from Mount Paran, covered are the heavens with his glory, and with his praise the earth is filled. His splendor spreads like the light, rays shine forth from beside him, where his power is concealed. You come forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. You tread the sea with your steeds amid the churning of the deep waters. I hear and my body trembles at the sound my lips quiver. Decay invades my bones, my legs tremble beneath me. I await the day of distress that will come upon the people who attack us. For though the fig tree blossom not, nor fruit be on the vines, though the yield of the olive fail, and the terraces produce no nourishment, though the flocks disappear from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord and exalt in my saving God. God, God, my Lord, is my my strength. strength. He He makes makes my feet swift as those of of height and and enables me to go upon the heights. Glory Glory to to the Father and to the Son and and to to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Jesus Christ loved us and poured out his own dear blood for us to wash away our sins. We were 
worship your Christ cross, O Lord, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For the wood of the cross has brought joy to the world. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We worship your cross, O Lord, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection, for the wood of the cross has brought joy to the world. See, my servant shall prosper. He shall be raised high and greatly exalted. Even as many were amazed at him, so marred were his features beyond that of mortals, his appearance beyond that of human beings. So shall he startle many nations. Kings shall stand speechless. For those who have not been told shall see. Those who have not heard shall ponder it. from the Catechesis of St. John Chrysostom. If we wish to understand the power of Christ's blood, we should go back to the ancient account of its prefiguration in Egypt. Sacrifice a lamb without blemish, commanded Moses, and sprinkle its blood on your doors. If we were to ask him what he meant and how the blood of an irrational beast could possibly save men endowed with reason, his answer would be that the saving power lies not in the blood itself, but in the fact that it is a sign of the Lord's blood. In those days, when the destroying angel saw the blood on the doors, he did not dare to enter, so much less will the devil approach. Now when he sees, not that figurative blood on the doors, but the true blood on the lips of believers, the doors of the temple of Christ. If you desire further proof of the power of his blood, remember where it came from, how it ran down from the cross, flowing from the master's side. The gospel records that when Christ was dead, but still hung on the cross, a soldier came and pierced his side with a lance, 
and immediately there poured out water and blood. Now the water was a symbol of baptism and the blood of the Holy Eucharist. The soldier pierced the Lord's side. He breached the wall of the sacred temple. And I have found the treasure and made it my own. So also with the lamb, the Jews sacrificed the victim, and I have been saved by it. There flowed from his side water and blood. Beloved, do not pass over this mystery without thought. It has yet another hidden meaning, which I will explain to you. I said that water and blood symbolized baptism and the Holy Eucharist. From these two sacraments, the church is born. From baptism, the cleansing water that gives rebirth and renewal through the Holy Spirit, and from the Holy Eucharist. Since the symbols of baptism and the Eucharist flowed from his side, it was from his side that Christ fashioned the church, as he had fashioned Eve from the side of Adam. Moses gives a hint of this when he tells the story of the first man and makes him exclaim, bone from my bones and flesh from my flesh. As God then took a rib from Adam's side to fashion a woman, so Christ has given us blood and water from his side to fashion the church. God took the rib when Adam was in a deep sleep. And in the same way, Christ gave us the blood and water after his own death. Do you understand then how Christ has united his bride to himself and what food he gives us all to eat? By one and the same food, we are both brought into being and nourished. As a woman nourishes her child with her own blood and milk, so does Christ unceasingly nourish with his own blood those to whom he himself has given life. Accepting death, death on a cross. For our sake, Christ was obedient, accepting death, death on a cross. Over his head they hung their accusation. Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Now bless the God, God of Israel, who, who comes in love and power, who raises from the royal house deliverance in this hour. Through holy prophets God has sworn to free us from alarm, to save us from the heavy hand of all who wish us harm. Remembering the covenant, God rescues us from fear that we might serve in holiness and peace from year to year. And you, my child, shall go before to 
preach to prophesy that all might know the tender love, the grace of God most high. In tender mercy, God will send the day spring from on high. Our rising sun, the light of life for those who sit and sigh. God comes to guide our way to peace, that death shall reign no more. Sing praises to the Holy One, O worship and adore. Over his head they hung their accusation, Jesus of Nazareth, King, King of, of the Jews. For our sake, our Redeemer suffered death and was buried and rose again. With heartfelt love, let us adore him and pray. Christ, our teacher, for our sake, you were obedient even to accepting death. Teach us to obey the Father's will in all things. Christ, our life, by your death on the cross, you destroyed the power of evil and death. May we die with you to rise with you in glory. Christ, our King, you became an outcast among us, a worm and no man. Teach us the humility by which you save the world. Christ, our salvation, you gave yourself up to death out of love for us. Help us to show your love to one another. Christ, our strength, be with our world as we continue to fight the coronavirus pandemic. Give health to the sick, comfort to the dying, support to medical professionals, and peace to all. Christ, our Savior, on the cross you embraced all time with your outstretched arms. Unite God's scattered children in your kingdom of salvation. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.